Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for this video. Today we're going to be talking about soil temperatures and how to check them with a thermometer. So first and foremost, you're probably wondering why you would want to check the soil temperatures in your lawn. And basically this is just going to help you get a little bit more of an accurate idea of what's going on. Specifically, it's going to be important when we're talking about pre-emergence to know what the soil temperature is. This is going to help you make a decision on what product to use. Maybe in the fall you're going to be doing some overseeding and it's nice to know the temperature then to know when seed germinates the best. And also in the summertime when soil temperatures get very high, it's also nice to know that anything over 80 is probably a good idea to not be putting down fertilizer or a lot of nitrogen at that point. So those are a couple examples of why you might want to check the soil temperature and this just gives you a little bit better idea of what to do in certain situations. So if you'd like to, you can buy a specific soil thermometer, however, I had an old thermometer lying around that I used to use for grilling, so I figured why not give this a shot, just see how it works out. Specifically on the packaging, it says that it's supposed to be accurate within one degree, so I tested it against all the other thermometers that I have in my house, a couple outdoor ones, and then our actual thermometer that we have on our system that runs our heat and cooling. It was actually very close to the other thermometer, so I think we're getting a pretty accurate reading. So that's a good place to start, just test out to make sure that you're getting a fairly accurate reading. From there we want to be testing about 4 inches down into the soil. So the way that I did this is I just took out a tape measure, I measured out 4 inches and I just put a mark on there with a sharpie. You could do something pretty much similar to that. You could get a piece of tape and put on there, just something that gives you a little bit of an idea of how far it's going into the soil, and that way we can kind of keep things consistent. So from there I just went outside and I tested a couple areas in my yard, just kind of go around, test a few different areas, see what kind of reading you get. Now this is supposed to be an instant read thermometer, but it's not quite as instant as some of the other ones that I've used. So that's kind of why I wasn't using it anymore. I found one that's better for grilling specifically, but this one I found, just leave it in the soil for a few seconds, maybe even a minute, and then come back and check it and see if it levels out. And pretty much after that time frame, I'm finding that it levels out okay. So just give it a little bit of time to get an accurate reading. From there, I want to test also some of the warmest spots in my yard, and you can kind of just see that right now by looking at some of the greenest spots or going near your sidewalks or your driveway or somewhere where it's getting a little bit more warmth from something that's near it. So I want to test out those areas as well just to get an idea of what the warmest spots might be in my yard. And that way I can make a decision here if I'm going to use pre-emergence on what product I might want to use. So briefly talking about pre-emergence, if your soil temperature is probably around 50 to 55 degrees, that's about the time that your weeds are going to start growing and crabgrass specifically, somewhere around 55. So if you're below that right now and my soil is pretty cold in most areas, then you're going to have the option of using a product called Barricade or the active ingredient is Prodiamine. This is a good product to apply early if you're trying to get rid of crabgrass. Now if you're above that 55 degree mark right now or you're starting to see a few weeds pop up and crabgrass pop up, then you can use a product called Dimension and this is going to help as long as the crabgrass isn't too full at this point, which it shouldn't be because we're still very early in the season. And that has some post-emergent properties to it. So what that does is it still kills them as they start to come up and as they're emerged through the ground. Whereas the prodiamine just creates a barrier and it's not going to let anything come up through the ground. So if it's already emerged, then you need to use something like Dimension. We can talk a little bit more about pre-emergence if you'd like to. Just let me know in the comments if you'd like to know some more things about pre-emergence. I'll have a link to this thermometer that I was using in the description below and I think it was super cheap right now, like 6 or $7 or something like that. So if you'd like to use something like that just to get a little bit better idea of what's going on in the soil, I think it's a good option for very low money. Thank you guys for watching this video, we'll see you next time.